So I was watching Helen from Germany. What is her name? Oh, Moon Glow, Moon Birch Grove, Moon Birch Grove. Yeah, Moon Birch Grove, which is Helen from Germany. She's done a video on Naya's Family Collective channel, so you can see who she is. And I was overlooking at some of her videos, and uh, she did a video where she was in Iceland. And uh, Stephanie and I found out several years ago that in Iceland they still very much believe in magical, the 5D magical creatures, gnomes and elves and fairies and such. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> we had found out and then Helen also brought it up that they actually will um, have people who can talk to the, to the beings, ask them about moving big boulders that tend to be their home or they'll, they'll build a road around them. It's pretty fantastic and definitely a place that Stephanie and I want to go to. And the other day, Stephanie ran across some, um, she crochets. She, she was looking on Pinterest for uh, crocheting ideas. And she ran across a whole bunch of these crocheted little characters that were real. They're real magical creatures in 5D and she was amazed. And we don't know exactly whether or not uh, I tr I did you know a copy paste into Translate Google Translate, and they were Russian or the couple that I did were Russian, so somewhere in Russia either these people are crocheting beans from uh, fairy tales that have been passed down, or they've seen them, or they're subconsciously recreating what they remember. But um, she's going to do put together a bunch of the pictures with a quick explanation of how big they are and you know a little bit about them uh, they'll also a lot of these will be in her book but I just wanted to show you guys and I'll do this um, I'll do this quickly uh, there's several things that I'm gonna work with her with to do a video so that I can show you that these creatures do exist there are people on the planet that even either know about them believe in them talk to them uh, already so that will make it easier for you to believe that five, uh, the fifth dimension transition. Also, there's a whole bunch of video or a whole bunch of pictures of little creatures that I'll bet you don't even know exist that I want to show you. And these are 3D, 4D creatures. These are not creatures that are fifth dimension. Just to show you how many creatures are out there that you're just unaware of, that they are unbelievably cool looking, um, that, that, that are phenomenal, that most people don't even know exist. And there's so many of them that as humans uh, that you're not aware of that they exist, let alone all the creatures that will be in the fifth dimension uh, that you'll find out about in her books as they come out. So also, I wanted to bring up, because she was bringing up photos, we were looking at them, of pictures that are not CG, that are creatures that are unlikely out in the wild and I really want the ones in the wild where you can see uh, predator and prey together uh, that they're coming together that they're interacting in in close close proximity of each other that are um, even a predator that will take care of a prey or vice versa a baby that's been left behind and one of them will pick it up that this is happening already and these are signs on my timelines and yours if you want them that this vibration of fear is leaving the planet that we are going to timelines where we're on a vibration that's higher and fear is leaving the planet because animals do not have judgment they will go from fear to 5d they will not be slowed down much in 4d at all because they don't they don't judge once fear is gone the only judgment they have is, will it be good lunch, or, are they, or, or should I run from them? Once the fear is gone, they don't have that. You understand? So, we can already see these things happen. So, if you'll spend your time looking for those, go to good news channels. So, instead of watching the uh, media, which you know is meant to keep you in fear and judgment, don't look at that at all. Go to the good news channels, and there are, oh, there's so, so many of them now, that they will show you what's going on in the planet that is wonderful. Humans doing good things, not bad, to each other. Phenomenal things 
uh, unbelievable things that so outweigh the bad that you hear those that one event that they will just play and play and play into to ad nauseum can be replaced with a hundred awesomely wonderful things that are happening on the planet that humans are doing and the ways that they're helping the planet versus uh, what we've done to make the planet uh, that have hurt the planet there are so many things going on you just have to have to go look for them and they're available on the internet and if you've got the internet you've got it for free so all you have to do is punch in the words and do a Google search search Bing search uh, Firefox whatever search and you can find these wonderful wonderful things that are going on and all of the changes that are happening with the the uh, animals and there are so many more people that can talk to animals uh, that is growing too, phenomenally growing. Anyway, they are in timelines. The amount of people that can communicate with um, all kinds of animals now. Uh, specialists that do, you know, horse whispers have been around forever. Now we've got the dog whispers, cat whispers, and now it's it's branched out into just people who talk to animals. It is just what would have been called crazy, and people wouldn't have talked about. Uh, 20, 30 years ago is now becoming very, very common. So I encourage you guys in your uh, attempt to sort through your life difficulty moment to moment, and you may be struggling with pain or disease, if you'll reach out to those things on the internet, really open yourself up to the vibration of how it makes you feel when you see that, it will change everything. Everything in your life without you having to do anything more than do a Google search for wild animal, unlikely wild and unlikely animals together in the wild or all of the good news channel. If you uh, people who communicate with animals, um, people who are um, fixing the problems on the planet, whether it be uh, the dirty oceans, oh, a kid, there's a kid out there that magnificently what he's doing. There are all kinds of magnificent things that will just raise your vibration and take you out of this looking around and seeing all this bad stuff. It's the good stuff is out there. Go find it. If you really want uh, your vibration to raise, then you have to teach yourself to not look at the things that you've been trained to look at all of these years and go look at something else. They are out there. Uh, they are out there and it will change everything. It'll change uh, how you go to work, how you come home, how you drive on the streets, uh, how you interact with the people around you, how you are to your, your animals. It will change everything. Just reach out, look for it, and then share those things with the family over at Nias Family Collective. Just give a little, uh, you know, really just a little blurb on... Uh, on what you're getting ready to show or just upload it if you can do that if you can't then do a little video tell them what you found how it made you feel how it changed things and then do a, a link down in the below in the description yeah you can do that I think all right let's really really as a family encourage you to go out and find what's good Okay, go out and find what's good, not just around you, but in the world. It's a magnificent place full of absolutely phenomenal, phenomenally wonderful things. All you have to do is look at them. That's it. So all you got to do is look at them. All right, guys. Okay, huge hugs. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.